Welcome to this week's episode of Growing at Ryman Gardens. This week we'll spend the entire episode out in the children's garden visiting with Ed, the outdoor horticulturist here, looking at the new Garden Railroad display. My name is Ed Moran and we are here in the uh, class of 2001 Scarecrow Garden, uh, located in the Patty Jiski Children's Garden. And we are here today to look at the new train exhibit that was just installed this last April here at Ryman Gardens. In this new exhibit, we have four different uh, operating railways um, that encompass about 350 linear feet of uh, number one gauge track. Um, we have four different engines that run pretty much our entire um, during our operating hours. In this new exhibit, we have four different tracks that run. Uh, with four different locomotives. Uh, we have a tramway, uh, which is reminiscent of the old passenger locomotive that used to run here in Ames called the Dinky. We have modern day diesels, switchers, and as well as a high speed electric train model as well. Um, we also feature a large selection of door conifers and ground covers. Um, as well that are appropriate for miniature landscapes. This locomotive is uh, the LGB's tramway which is modeled similar to the dinky which used to run uh, in Ames from downtown to Iowa State University. Um, it is basically used in European um, countries as a form of mass transportation. This model is um, an impressive diesel, which uh, is an F-Series, a Union Pacific, which has an operating A and B unit. Um, it is quite powerful, and we can, as you can see, we can pull quite a few um, variety of cars with it. This locomotive is the Chicago Northwestern Steamliner, which was mainly operated in um, switch yards. This locomotive is the LGB's LCE third generation. Um, this is mainly based out of Munich, Germany. Um, it is a high-speed electric train which is able to run uh, at speeds of over 300 kilometers per hour. Uh, we usually run this on our elevated track to kind of represent the future of train travel. This model uh, is of the Christina Ryman Butterfly Wing. Uh, it was constructed by Ken Walters from Boone, Iowa and of course is a scaled model of the Christina Ryman Butterfly Wing here at Ryman Gardens, which was uh, constructed and opened in 2002. Uh, this model here is the Farmhouse Museum, which uh, also was constructed by Ken Walters from Boone, Iowa. Uh, it is significant to Iowa State because it was the first building built on campus uh, and is on the National Registry of Historic Places. This building was modeled after the original designs of the hub that was located on Central Campus which was basically used to drop students um, off from the dinky from the downtown area. Again, this was constructed by Ken Walter uh, from Boone, Iowa. This model is the Edgar W. and Margaret McDonald Stanton Memorial Carillion, which was constructed by um, Josh Thrapp from Des Moines, Dan Clark from Muscatine, Iowa, Denny Salisbury from Ames, and was painted by Scott Rummery from Ames, Iowa. It is, of course, modeled after the uh, Campanile on Central Campus. This model is the Marston Water Tower, which was the first metal water tower west of the Mississippi. Um, this was constructed and modeled uh, by Carol Marty uh, from Ames, Iowa. Um, and in the garden stands about five feet tall. This trestle bridge uh, was constructed by Mike Orgler. Um, it is over 10 feet long and is modeled after several other uh, trestle bridges from this area. Garden railroading is a great way to highlight dwarf and compact plants um, that are great for garden railroading as well as other uses in the garden. Um, it's a great place, you know, again, to highlight um, small ground covers as well as dwarf conifers. Um, the conifer here that we're looking at is Pinus mugo slow mound. Um, 
I think we have about 25 different taxa of dwarf conifers that are on exhibit um, here in this train display. Um, they are all hardy and most of them will grow less than an inch a year. Um, there are a few specimens that are a larger, um, that are used, uh, have a larger maturity which are used uh, more just for backdrops and accent plants uh, for the landscape. This great ground cover that we're looking at here is purple hardy ice plant, um, Delis burma cuprii. Um, many of the perennial ground covers that we use see in this garden were donated by uh, Midwest Ground Covers and are part of their new line of products called Jeepers Creepers. Um, we have other, lots of other ground covers like different varieties of Creeping Times, um, Chamomiles, Dianthus, um, as well as Laropes, um, Geraniums, just a whole variety of different plants that we use uh, for this miniature landscape. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Growing at Ryman Gardens. For more information about this exhibit and operating hours, please visit our website at rymangardens.com.